Hey guys, it's Carrie. I'm going to talk about Spinosaurus and its uniqueness. Spinosaurus anatomy exhibits another feature that may have a modern analogy. Its long tail resembled that of the thresher shark employed to slap the water to herd and stun shoals of fish before devouring them. These adaptions include small nostrils in the middle of the skull that would have allowed Spinosaurus to breathe when part of its head was in the water. Giant slanted teeth, well suited for catching slippery fish, a long neck and trunk that shifted the dinosaur's centre of mass forward, making walking on two legs on land nearly impossible, but facilitating movement in the water, and strong long-boned feet and long flat claws similar to some shorebirds that stand on or move across soft surfaces rather than perch. In fact, Spinosaurus may have had webbed feet for walking on soft mud or paddling. Subscribe and like if you like dinosaurs. Spinosaurus a genus of theropod dinosaurs belonging to the family Spinosauridae, known from incomplete North African fossils that date back to Cenomanian times, which is roughly 100 to 94 million years ago. In 1915, there was a discovery of a partial skeleton from Western Egypt. These fossils were destroyed in April 1944 when British aircraft inadvertently bombed the museum in Munich in which they were housed. Spinosaurus, which was longer and heavier than Tyrannosaurus, is the largest known carnivorous dinosaur. It possessed a skull. 1.75 meters or 6 feet long, a body length up to 18 meters or 59 feet and an estimated mass of up to 20,000 kilograms or 22 tons. Like other Spinosaurids, Spinosaurus possessed a long narrow skull resembling that of a crocodile. Its teeth were straight and conical, instead of curved and blade-like, as in other theropods. All of these features are adaptions for piscary, the consumption of fish. Other spinosaurids have been found with partially digested fish scales and the bones of other dinosaurs in their stomach regions and spinosaurid teeth have been found embedded in pterosaur bones. over the animal's back was probably used for social displays or species recognition rather than for temperature regulation. Some authorities maintained that the sail was actually a hump and used to store water and lipids. Spinosaurus had pressure receptors inside the snout which allowed it to hold its snout at the surface of the water to detect swimming prey species without seeing them or being seen. Please stay and watch another video with me.
Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.